Aaron Conklin joins us again this morning to talk about some tasty treats on your home video gaming console or PC. Uh, the first game that we're going to talk about today, Aaron, I I'm, I'm excited about this game because it's got kind of a, a, a quirky uh, theme to it. You're, you're in a street race uh, and there's an earthquake and it's called Motor Storm Apocalypse. Yeah. Tell us about Mo Motor Storm Apocalypse. Sure, well, Motor Storm has been a popular series on the PS3 for a while, but this one kind of takes it over the top. Game actually got delayed a couple of times because they didn't want to release it, you know, wow. when the earthquake hit Japan. Obviously but it's true, sense, so yeah. there's, there's, there's a, a city and an earthquake is coming, so you're part of a group that decides it's a great time to have a racing festival. So you start actually uh, uh, racing your car through, through the streets of the city that's being destroyed around you, and that's, that's what's kind of cool about it is that you know, you're jumping over buildings as they're falling, um, do multiple laps, and, and, and huge explosions will change the, the, the course every single time. So you might have a shortcut that works really well for you one time, and then it's blocked off by a building that fell on top of everything the next. So it's, you know, there's tornadoes, tsunamis. I mean, it's, it's really oh, wow. just it's, it's like riding the storm, pretty much. So the environment around you is constantly changing, and you have to always be aware of that. Yeah, exactly. It's a little bit like Split Second for those who played that game last year, okay. um, but a lot of explosions. All right, now this game, this has been out for a couple of weeks, correct? Yep, yep. it's PS3 exclusive. PS3 exclusive, uh, $59.99, I'm assuming, mm -hmm. price point. Yeah. All right, sounds good. Now the next one we're going to move on to, there's, there's been just a plethora of Lego games. It's true. Uh, Lego Harry Potter, Indiana Jones, Batman, and now we're talking Lego Pirates of the Caribbean. What can you tell us about that? Well, they've finally actually gotten to the point now where they can they can be releasing these games as the new movies come. So this one actually covers the plots of, of all four of the Pirates of the Caribbean games, including oh, wow. the one that, that, that just uh, um, opened on Friday. So it, you're basically doing the, the Lego thing. You're controlling, you know, your little Lego Jack Sparrow as he as he as he goes through. And, and, and it's it's amazing how, how how closely they've been able to to recreate some of the scenes from the film. If you actually hold them side by side, they hold up really well. But it's the same sort of thing. You're controlling a, a group of characters. Smashing, uh, smashing everything in sight, trying yeah. to collect gold bricks, you know, and, and going through the entire movie. I'm kind of hoping that, that it'll, it'll, it'll make a little bit more sense than the third movie did. Yeah. Maybe it'll help explain <laughs> things a little bit. So, and these are always really fun games for you know, just about everyone, every age group. You don't. There, there's no real demographic for these. Anybody can sit down and play one of these Lego games. Well, it's nice because the co-op version and also the developers really inject a great sense of humor. There are a lot of funny sight gags that weren't part of the films that will really have you laughing. Okay, and <laughs> I'm guessing $59.99 for this one as well? Yeah, this one is on every single platform you can possibly imagine, okay. all of them. And the final game we're going to talk about today, uh, L.A. Noir. A, a huge campaign has been behind this. We were talking about this before we started rolling. Uh, Seeing advertisements for this game all over the place. Tell us a little bit about this one. Sure. Well, it's the latest one from Rockstar Games, the, the folks who've given us the Grand Theft Auto series. So you pretty much know what to expect. But, but this time, instead of being in an urban city with a Russian immigrant, you're actually uh, you play a, a detective in Los Angeles in post World War II, and you end up in the middle of trying to solve a case of a, a serial killer called the Werewolf, who's actually uh, um, killing starlets uh, in, in Los Angeles. And it has all the hallmarks of, of the Rockstar games, open world universe, lots of opportunities to talk to different people, different paths to, to accomplish different sorts of missions. You can drive, you can fight, you can shoot, you can avoid the story and do your own thing. But the big thing, I mean, people who've seen the commercials know this, um, it, it looks like a movie. It really yeah. looks like you're playing a movie. And I think they've really amped the production values to the point where this is going to be a real winner. What I really enjoy about these games is tons of hours of gameplay. You mm -hmm. can pick it up and just go for hours and roaming around the world. And, not necessarily accomplish anything, but just explore. All right, Aaron, uh, thank you very much for stopping yeah. by and chit-chatting with us. Uh, we do appreciate it. Hopefully those are some games that will help, uh, help cool you down on some of these warmer days that we're anticipating soon. That's right, crank the air conditioning. <laughs>